Hi again. If you still have a little Christmas cash left and like to shop, you'll be so glad you stuck around for more Explore Tulsa. I think the hardest thing that any man could ever do is shop for clothes for his wife or girlfriend. But after many years of experience, I have learned the secret. What's that? Always buy something super expensive? Well, that too. But when it comes to size, always buy her something in the petite section save that gift receipt. <laughs> Smart man. But you could also stop in at Urban Couture and let Abby and her fashion experts help you with all the latest looks to keep the woman in your life very happy. We don't even call them customers, we call them our friends because we just love seeing them come in. We'll run to them and hug them and we're so glad you're in today and everything and it's, it's true, we, we become really good friends with all of them. I have a family full of entrepreneurs and so it was it was really fun to start up and everything. It's, it's a really awesome business to have. It was my dad's idea, actually. We were just sitting on the couch one night and I said, Dad, I might take up your plan to open a store. And he said, okay, think of a name and we'll get the, we'll get the EIN number. And the next day I was getting my sales tax permit and it just started from there. It was kind of hard to figure out how South Tulsa you know, was and we, it took a while to figure out how they dress exactly, but I think we really have it down to a T because our things sell very, very quickly. Tulsa is very casual and comfy and they want cute, but they want it to where it's, you know, comfortable all day. And, you know, in other states, it'll be a little bit different, it'll be a little bit dressier, but we don't mind it at all. I mean, everything here is really comfortable and it's, it is a little different every time you go somewhere. I mean, I've been to several states and everything, and we go to different states to buy our clothing. You know, we don't want to always just go to Dallas. We want to go to Atlanta, New York, and Chicago, and Vegas, and everything like that to see different things and bring different things to Tulsa. I think we kind of nailed our vision, if not better. We want it to be very like New York and not anything like Tulsa has ever had. We want it to be very fancy, but with low, good prices. And I think we nailed that. Everyone compliments it whenever they come in the store. It's kind of the place that people come for when they're looking for an outfit. And you know, we have casual things, we have dressy things, we have anything in between. We have anything you could ever imagine in here, so. Every time someone comes in, we say, what are you looking for? Are you looking for anything? Do you need an outfit? Sometimes they'll say, oh, I'm just shopping. And sometimes they'll say, this is exactly what I want. So we'll run around the store, pick out everything for them, throw it in a fitting room and say, here it is. And they always find everything every single time. We've been with guys for hours looking for gifts and stuff like that. So if they don't find anything, obviously they can do a gift certificate, but they always find something and their wives are always very happy. We have very little you know, exchanges or returns when it comes to gifts because we, we know the customers too, and if they've been in before, we can, really, we can really nail it every time. It is hard to compete with things that are online because a lot of people want to sit at home in their pajamas and shop and whatnot, and we'll ship to anybody anywhere that's not a problem with us. But we love having people come in and get the experience and talk to them, become friends with them, and people always come back, you know. They don't ever need anything to be shipped because they want to come in and have that experience with us. Um, I was a little scared. I don't know if I knew it was going to be this hard of a, of a job, but I think everyone kind of looks at it as just shopping and it's, it's not that at all. There's very, there's many things that go into it, and but it's the best job ever. I don't think I'd ever, you know, want to lose it and it's probably the best thing that's ever happened to my family. It's really awesome. Yeah, I was a dental hygienist and I was not thinking anything about retail. I've never done anything retail. I didn't get my first job until I was 19, so this was totally crazy to do, but it was it's awesome and I wouldn't trade it for anything. It can be tough working with family sometimes, but Again, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love being with my sister, my mom, my dad, and all my family 24-7. It's honestly the best thing that could ever happen. We're very, very close, and then our girls are just like family also.